Should we open it? Should we open it? Let's open it. God, look at that. That's incredible. Hmm. No. No. Almost. Hmm. That'll be perfect. Yes. Oroko, it shall be. Father? Yes! And we're off. And Colin here and Dan. Uh, we're both on commentary today doing voiceover. Voiceover on this wonderful video right in front of you now. Here it is, here it is, here it is. And, and, and they're off. <laughs> <laughs> we're, we're milling the word for the frame. Actually, we're cutting the word. No, it's milling. We are milling the timber down to the dimensions that we need. That being at the table saw and at the planer. And at the idiot hoovering the table saw. <laughs> oh, oh dear. What? 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 Oh, have you got your hand stuck up? Oh. <laughs> well, the panels were hungry today, and well, they decided to eat the glove. So, what's that we're cutting there? Is that some that's, that's backing the back, material? Back panel. Using some uh, set of blocks there to set the height on the blade. And then we're cutting a rebate or a rabbit, depending on what part of the world you're from. Get it right the third time. Hmm. Now we're cutting the mitres. Using a homemade framing jig. Now we're taking the chamfer off the inside corner to make it look nice. Tide Bond 3, not, not sponsored. sponsored. <laughs> okay, frame is going together now. All the parts are cut. The beauty of that jig is that it cuts them all exactly the same length. Sliding it into place so it's in exactly the right. A little bit of pressure there. Not too much. Don't want to squeeze all the glue out. No, we're just checking to make sure that everything's flush. It looks like I'm wiping the glue off, but I'm really checking the the uh the, the lineup and magically overnight that is dry yeah it comes off wow measuring for the, the perspex is in, this the internals the internals yeah the internal dimension i think you're about to see was i yeah all right well if you'd been thinking about it you would have said that yeah so this is maybe that's what I should have said. This is one one dimension set. So we've got the back cut. So now that we know that that's right, we'll cut the uh, the acrylic for the window at the same size because we know that that's the same setting before we have to change the table saw. Now we're changing for the other dimension, moving the fence over. So we've got some clearance, so we don't jam up against the fence on a cross cut. Safety first. Lovely. We'll see if that just drops in. We know it. Of course it does. We've already done it. <laughs> this is already hanging on my wall. <laughs> <laughs> so that's right now. So we'll do the same for the window. Let me fill it. This is a surprisingly good job, that blade, for uh, cutting the acrylic. Now we're cutting some cardboard box because we're living in a cardboard box. You might be. Is that a song? Yes. Oh. Oh no, copyright. It's before my time. Possibly. That little close up shot of the uh, snippety snip there just for you um, SMR people. Just take the roughness off. Not that there's much roughness off from that cutter. Oh, 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 this scene just cuts to the bone. Oh, there we go. Oh. 
So instead of splines on this frame, we decided to use bones because, well, it's a picture of a dog and... Dogs like bones. Dogs like bones. We're using the shape of origin here just to uh, get a perfect cut out. Just to infuriate everyone. <laughs> You're not a real woodworker. It's a good job we don't need that kind of uh, reassurance. No. <laughs> <laughs> Look, you are a real woodworker. I'm you using are using a hand playing. plane. Oh my God. Put it away. Someone will think you know what you're doing. <laughs> I always thought you did, but yeah. sometimes I wonder. <laughs> Feel it with your thumb just to make sure you're there. One more swipe, and I think we're good. Oh, yes. Just finishing off with the sander. Look Who's at that idiot. handsome chap? <laughs> <laughs> Giving it a quick rub down with methylated spirit. As this is the required pre-step well, for Rubio. Uh, well, actually, it's supposed to be a Rubio cleaning fluid, but... Anything, well, we're not any, sponsored. Anything that's on hand, really. <laughs> we're not sponsored, so, yeah. If we were, it would be using that Rubio product. Mm -hmm. Scrubby scrub. It is great stuff, Rubio, though. Don't sing its bruises too much. <laughs> no one's paying us. <laughs> it is. It's marvellous stuff. Mono coat, one coat, and then wipe it off, and you're done. That's it, you're done. Now we're we're gonna do a, a mime, or some magic, or some magic, or or we may just not want to get the acrylic dirty with our grubby hands. Yes. Stinking fingerprints. You do have big grubby hands. Big greasy hands. that dog to the death don't do that don't beat any dogs that's cruel it was a figure of speech i hope so i like dogs so we're putting this together now uh the, the frame is finished we're putting in these little strips to uh, act as a standoff so that the artwork doesn't actually make contact with the uh the front glass or acrylic you may have wondered when we were cutting this on the the table saw why the hell we would be cutting cardboard on the table saw yeah well, we, now we, you know <laughs> we would normally use a, a proper mount but um in this case you can't see any of it so we just basically use this, the cardboard strips to stand off um to protect the uh, the artwork from becoming smudged because it is a, a sketch Done by hand, so you don't want to be smearing that anywhere. Yeah, it's it's a uh, pencil, so can be easily smudged. Just securing um, the back. Just putting our point pins in here. Quite satisfying, this. And there's a close up. And there we are. The finished product. Lovely. Beautiful, I might say so myself. That artwork though, Dan. That artwork is amazing, isn't it? It is. It's absolutely incredible. Moving on, we're now starting the two stands for the replica pistols. Alright, Dan, what are you doing there? Well, we are mounting it from this point here. So we need to find out what the angle is. Right, Dad. What time is it? What time is it? Uh, I think it's time to sing someone's praises. Yeah. <laughs> and we're talking about Alistair. Or Ali, as he prefers to be called. He's the very talented chap who uh, did the portrait of Betsy. And... If you'd like to find him, if you'd like some work done yourself, then by all means, uh, we are going to leave a link to 
to his page. I believe he's got a Facebook page for his portraits. And you can find that below. Now back to this. And we are getting the chisel out. We're getting the chisel on. Getting our chisel on. <laughs> so we've got our mounting fitting quite nicely but I want to match this profile it's got a bit of a curve on it to the back edge of this quickest and easiest way to do that is with a bit of paper just take your finger hold it in place rub it along the edge you see our profile there Quite hard to see on the camera but it does work so what we're doing here Peter? well we've got to just cut the profile out that we've just got in order to use the the shape to be able to transfer the mark across onto the uh onto the wood aye something like that yeah Oh, I don't know. Yeah. Transferring the model for something the wood there, look. <laughs> <laughs> and there's a holographic sander. A holographic, not even strip like, like a stroll. No, it looks uh, like a flickering hologram, doesn't it? Does it? Yeah. All oh, right. The funny thing is... You yeah. didn't want to put your finger into it, though, do you? Because you would lose it because it's a sander. <laughs> I mean, you wouldn't lose it immediately. <laughs> it would hurt a bit. Uh, so what's happening here? You're doing some oh, didgery, did, didgery magicry on the, on the shape of origin. I, well, that's the, the shape of the uh, the gun cartridge. The bullet, sorry, the bullet cartridge. And this is me cutting it out. Super skillfully, like. No, I'm not. No, that's all the robot doing that. You cheater. Nice. There's the skilled work. <laughs> <laughs> With the sandpaper. Get some abrasive on the go. Nice. So these are the replicas, and there's the original stand. And this is the one we're putting together. It's made of a rogo and some ash, I believe. I think it's that there is ash. Then there's a mahogany turret, we'll call it. Shall we call it a turret? We can call it a turret. That's the bit that the, the gun, that's the turret there. And the base is in the shape of a bullet. Now it's that time when we are putting all the different components together. A bit of wood glue in the hole there. Mm -hmm. Deadly silence. <laughs> and you know, putting the, uh, the feet on. What are you laughing at? That's <laughs> just the deadly silence. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's supposed Ooh. to be a... Uh, hang on, it's supposed to be a voiceover. Not a breathe-over. No, uh, not, a, not a quiet time. Not a quiet time. Oh, we're done. There we are. Please, please, find it within your heart to subscribe to our channel if you like it. And We've got also, big plans. We do have big plans. Yeah, we're going a slightly different way, but stay tuned. But yep. definitely do subscribe. And hit the thumbs up as well. It makes a big difference. Uh, it gets it out there a little bit more so people will see the video. And uh, we'll see you soon. Take care.